What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 271 of Room Tour Project, the series we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspiration for your own setup. If you see anything you like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it all out. But we'll kick it off now. 271. Man, oh man, is it good to be back. Nearly four months since the last episode that intro was actually filmed there after Halloween, so it's been a minute. Back today with a super nice black and green setup here. Really digging the geometric shapes above the setup to add some texture. And as you can see, he's got some old GPUs on display. That 1080 fits perfectly. Even peep the fish tank over on the left side, also black and green, all fitting together. So for his main display, that's an LG 34 inch ultra wide. And I like how that black and green wallpaper just fits in perfectly with the setup theme, obviously, and spans pretty much into the RGB behind the desk and down to his custom mouse pad. Ooh, really liking this build. So for his peripherals, we have a Tofu 65. It's got a brass plate, lubed and filmed Gateron milky yellow switches inside. And those black and neon green keycaps are from Polycaps or their code PBT set. He even supplied us with a sound test. Sounded nice and marbly. And then for his mouse, it is a Corsair Saber RGB Pro Wireless. You can take a look underneath the desk. Pretty damn good job here for cable management. Not a lot hanging down at all. You can also see his headphones, keeping them off the desk. Those are the Black Shark Goblin X5. Now over to the PC, this is the Lian Lee Lancool 215 case inside the Ryzen 7 5800X with a Deep Cool Castle 240 EX AIO. We got 32 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM on a Gigabyte B550 Aorus Master motherboard with an EVGA RTX 3080 FTW3 GPU, custom braided cables, again, you know what it is, all black and neon green. The entire setup here aesthetically on point surprise no razor gear with all his black and green but man really really loving what he's got going on next up today we have chris and it's been a long time since we've had these custom desk pcs i feel like this was a massive like starting trend in like 2016 ish we saw a lot of really cool stuff then not a lot since that's where chris is coming with his killer desk redemption here we'll check that out in a second he's got three displays this primary being an asus rog the pg34 8q and then on each side of the vertical orientation he has two 27 inch monitors from asus as well checking out some of that gear for his audio setup he does have logitech g560 light sync speakers with a diva lay phantom speaker in the back that's crazy um and also he's a leopold fc 990c in the norbauer heavy 9 steel case Whew. got the logitech mx master 3 mouse the elgato stream deck and over on the left side you could see that is a 3d like modeling mouse it's a 3d connection now, into that custom desk, as you can see, this is off to the right side in pretty much an entirely glass enclosure here with an Intel 11900K CPU, obviously with a custom cooling loop to run inside. It's got 32 gigs of G-Skill Triton Z RGB RAM on a Z590 Aorus Pro motherboard with an MSI RTX 4090 Gaming Trio graphics card. And obviously a bunch of fans inside to keep the system running cool with that all glass enclosure. Got a nice Iron Man helmet up top. This is a really nice creative setup. Love seeing stuff like this, Chris. Now we have Give Em Chills, and this is actually like a dual setup here. We're going to focus on the primary setup. Tons of RGB in the room. Got some Govi RGB ropes, the hexagon panels. This is wild. Very, very um, cotton candy is what I'm getting here. So again, for this main setup, the primary monitor is from AOC. It's a 34 inch curved, one millisecond, 144 hertz panel with the 27 inch monitor on the left side in the vertical orientation from Innocen, that is 4K. Then down to the desktop peripherals, we have a Gamma K LK68 keyboard, monitored a bit with some keycaps, and I'm really digging the mouse here. So underrated, I loved it when it came out, the SteelSeries Aerox 3. This is the Ghost Edition, and you can see it has that translucent sort of shell, and uh, just fits in perfectly. 
He even got his own custom mouse pad made as well. And then for audio, he has the Edifier M4 speakers in white right next to that really nice looking PC. This is from uh, Be Quiet. It's their Silent Bass 802 case in all white. Insides a 5900X CPU with a Be Quiet AIO, 32 gigs of Nectac Shadow Series RGB RAM on a B550A Strix motherboard with a Gigabyte Vision RTX 3070 Ti. The Vision is the way to go here with this case. Um, aesthetically, all looks so clean here. I love an all white build like this. Again, a little peek underneath the desk. Really, really good job. There's a lot of stuff going on with this setup, and it's all contained really nicely with some cable raceways, so nothing's hanging down and being an eyesore. But man, this is a very, very colorful, but neatly organized and well done setup. Giving you chills from Give em Chills. Next up, we have a little teaser video from Yudo. You may remember him, we've showed off a ton of his setup iterations in the past known as the Cyber Junk Project. This, the CJP04, his fourth iteration of his all entirely DIY custom setup, which as you can see, really takes creativity to the next level. And it, he gave it the name Cyber Junk because a lot of the stuff he put together was with, you know, like cardboard, masking tape, creating these really unique just designs out of really cheap DIY products, hence, you know, the name Cyber Junk. But now this is just like you're seeing all the different setup iterations he can make just with changing, you know, the vinyl outlines and the color of the room. I absolutely love his creativity. Checking out some of his hardware. He's just using uh, two monitors here from Samsung. They're just simple 24 inch and they're all powered by his laptop. It's not even a crazy rig either. It's got an i5 7200U, an AMD 5 M43. He says his main PC died, so he's working on that next, but powering all this just by that laptop is pretty impressive. For his peripherals, we have Logitech, MK270R keyboard with a G900 Chaos Spectrum mouse. Got the G633 Artemis Spectrum headset with Logitech Z313 speakers. So all Logitech for the peripherals. Now take a note in the middle there. That's what he calls his RGB hub pretty much. And I don't even know the way he's doing this, but it's all docked up with the simple RGB strips where he has it lined up into different zones. So that's how he can organize and create all these different colorful setups because he has the back end so neatly organized with how he can create the different sections of RGB. It's just so impressive. And again, another setup with so much going on in terms of electronics, everything powering the setup, cable management all kept nice and tidy underneath the desk built in so we can hide it, keep it out of sight. And also again, be nicely organized in case you need to swap anything out or change anything. I love the attention to detail all around the room. Again, it's all custom and DIY. It's so, so creative. And honestly, when I saw this submission, that's what made me want to get back into this series again. I missed it a little bit, but it's the setups like this that take creativity to the next, next, next level that brought me back. This has got to be inspiring some of you out there to create masterpieces out of DIY stuff around the house. You do. You are a legend, my man. And then last but not least, on the complete opposite end of the spectrum here is Lucas. And I say that because this is, you know, the complete opposite of RGB. This is a lot more chilled and laid back. Definitely an audio file here. You can tell by those great studio monitor speakers there. The room is like soundproof with these really cool acoustic panels and diffusers. Loving this. That main display is actually a TV, the LG CX48, so a massive 4K TV as the primary monitor, or TV. It's not a monitor, but you get what I'm saying. On each side, those massive studio monitors, those are the Dyn Audio BM12 Mark III. They're on speaker stands from Jasper's, the 8113BB. And again, look how neatly organized and routed all the cables are. It makes sense because this setup itself seems to be like in the middle of the room, so you don't want to have unsightly cables just hanging down and ruining everything. That'd also be a hazard for tripping on it, because again, it's in the middle of the room, but he's got it on lock. 
All right, back to his desktop and his peripherals. A super simple and all wireless setup. He's got a Logitech G915 keyboard with their tactile brown switches. Logitech G Pro X Super Lite. Got a pair of Hi-Fi Man Sundara 2020 headphones. And then off to the side on this stand, like I said before, definitely an audio file. I don't even know what half this stuff is. I'll still put it in the description down below if you want to check it out and what it does. Uh, but yeah, all I know is also off to the side, it's a Dynaudio BM14 S2. Subwoofer there. <laughs> and then rounding it out with his PC build, this from Fractal. It's their torrent case inside an i9 9900K CPU with a Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4 cooler, 32 gigs of G Skill Sniper X Urban Camo RAM with an RTX 3090 Founders Edition graphics card. So really, night and day from the all RGB setups, but like I said, this is a more acquired audiophile setup very very obvious by his gear and some of the stuff but i love it it's so natural with all the light wood around the room the natural ambient lighting and that's why i do this series to show you the different setups and configurations for the different user and what they're into all right guys that'll wrap it up for episode 271 of room tour project hope you all enjoyed if you want to submit your setup i'll have some very simple instructions in the description down below as well as all the gear and hardware we showed off today everything we listed down in the description if you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up, show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.